Ever found yourself gazing at the night sky wondering why we're so focused on Mars when Venus, our other neighbor, is just as close? Why don't we go to Venus? You see, Venus, despite being Earth's closest planetary neighbor, often seems to be overshadowed by the allure of Mars. This tantalizing world, shrouded in thick toxic clouds, holds a wealth of mysteries just waiting to be unraveled. Yet we seem to turn a blind eye, choosing the red planet as the object of our fascination. To unravel this conundrum we must dive into the harsh realities of Venus. Venus, despite its beauty from afar, harbors an extremely hostile environment. This celestial body, often mistaken for a star due to its intense brightness, is anything but friendly for human life and technology. Imagine stepping into a sauna, cranked up to its maximum heat, and then multiply that discomfort a thousandfold. That's the kind of heat we're talking about on Venus. Temperatures on its surface can reach a scorching 467 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. It's the hottest planet in our solar system, even more than Mercury which is closer to the Sun. This extreme heat is due to a runaway greenhouse effect, where Venus's thick atmosphere traps the Sun's heat, causing temperatures to soar. But the heat is only part of the story. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 92 times greater than Earth's. That's equivalent to being about 900 meters under the ocean. Under such pressure, human bodies would be crushed instantly. Even our most robust technology finds it hard to survive. Many spacecrafts that have attempted to land on Venus have been destroyed or severely damaged by this crushing pressure. And if the heat and pressure weren't enough, the atmosphere itself is a corrosive cocktail of mostly carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This toxic mix can eat away at most materials, adding yet another layer of challenge to any exploration efforts. Now you might wonder, why bother with Venus then? Well, studying Venus could provide valuable insights into our own planet's future and the effects of climate change. Despite the harsh conditions, Venus shares many similarities with Earth, earning it the nickname of our planet's evil twin. So, the allure of Venus is marred by its inhospitable nature, but there's more to this story. Beyond the hostile environment, there are technological challenges that further thwart our efforts to explore Venus. One of the most significant hurdles we face is finding long-lasting power sources. Venus's thick sulfuric acid-laden atmosphere is not only corrosive, but also absorbs solar energy, rendering solar panels less effective. Adding to the problem is the lack of materials that can withstand the planet's extreme conditions. Picture this. Venus has an average surface temperature that exceeds 800 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure around 92 times that of Earth. That's like being a kilometer under the ocean's surface. Existing materials and electronics simply can't survive these conditions for extended periods. The proof is in our past attempts. The spacecrafts that have managed to land on Venus so far have had alarmingly short lifespans. The record is held by the Soviet Union's Venera 13, which lasted just over two hours before succumbing to the harsh environment. These challenges make Venus a daunting prospect for exploration, but they also make it a compelling frontier for technological advancement. Despite these hurdles, the story of Venus is far from over. As we look to the future, scientists and space agencies worldwide are not deterred by the challenges that Venus presents. Instead, they see an opportunity for groundbreaking discovery and innovation. A slew of new missions are in the pipeline, each one designed to peel back another layer of Venus's enigmatic nature. These missions are not just about Venus, they are about us, about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine what we could learn by overcoming the harsh conditions of Venus. Think about the technological advancements that would come from developing equipment capable of withstanding Venus's extreme environment. These breakthroughs could revolutionize our understanding of other planets and potentially, the conditions necessary for life to exist. This is why the exploration of Venus continues to captivate our collective curiosity. It's more than just a planet. It's a test of our ingenuity, our resilience, and our thirst for knowledge. So, while we may not be going to Venus now, the future could hold surprising revelations about our mysterious neighbor.